and we're just going to have to eat it all on our own. I know, imagine me, Mac. I hope, he, I hope the PT fellas aren't watching from Abs Infinity Fitness to be given out to me. And then today there was a knock at the door and I arrived, this is my hall door. I arrived out and there was Abigail Freeman waving to me from the road and she had two boxes of these shortbread biscuits and you probably can't see it from there. I did do a video earlier on and it says K-A-Y-S, K's across them and they're absolutely gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so they had one box over earlier. to K and John. Actually, did you see the video of mum and dad? We posted them on the page earlier on. If anybody hasn't watched the videos, go and watch the one of my dad. I definitely don't take after him after him for the talking. Thank God you brought me say he is just a character. Normally when we do videos like there's a lot of editing on them, but his was just so funny. We said feck it. Like don't even bother editing it. Put it up exactly as it is. So when you get a chance, go down to the post, do the post at about two o'clock or three o'clock today. So what we got planned? Okay, so, I'm going back over and I want to see right. what maybe we have 200. So we have two flare arrangements planned for tonight. Want to do a hydrangea flare arrangement with you. Even the turntables got bowls today. What do you think of the big balloon balloon art there behind us? Oh my God. She actually made that she did. Well, uh, let me see. I'm not trying to see which page, which more on. What am I on? We're on YouTube. And we're on, I can't remember which one Instagram. is Instagram. Yeah, but I don't know which one is Instagram, which one is this, I must be on both things on Facebook. Am I? Because we've 168 on one and 104 on the other. And let me have to look. Oh, okay. And we're on Twitter as well. I'll right, come back to you. You'll be over there over there in a second. So I'm going to do a hydrangea arrangement with you. Because you're coming into the time of the year, everybody's going to have hydrangeas grown in the garden. And all you need is, to be honest, I'm saying 10 flowers. But 10 is what you can buy in the wholesalers. It might even take a little bit less. So this is the container I have already. And what I've used inside it was a jumbo block. Don't know if I can get my hands around it. There you go. So you can see it's quite a big block of foam. We use this on module four we do. I also have some extra wedges kind of in the end to get the extra bit of height. Obviously everything has been soaked. And you can see how far it's gone down into the container. So I'm not going to bother anchor taping this in. I feel it can be secure enough for transporting. But it then depends on where you're going to use it yourself. If you think you need to um, anchor tape it in, you can. Now this is a kind of a birch twig. We buy it in from a foliage farm down in Wicklow. And um, it comes in sprayed white. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to bring this down a little bit lower to me now. So hopefully you can see it. I don't actually need the turn table for this one because it's quite, it's quite high. A bit. And I'm just making like kind of an anchor in the centre of the foam with these twigs standing up. And the idea of the white twigs is to bring up the white the pot up into the arrangement. Are they posting their flare crowns there, dear? We're, We're on 182. Wow, well, we need another on 80 Facebook. more people. So anybody that's not watching that hasn't clicked share because we were able to go into the shares afterwards and see who did share and who didn't share so <laughs> and i was actually on there i was on facebook twice twice actually. yeah so I'm um so these are her hydrangeas i have a fantastic blog wrote on our blog page on the website on what exactly you do to hydrangeas because this could take about 20 minutes to explain it and again i don't want to waste time tonight so just one quick tip for you. When you take your hydrangeas in from your garden, you cut them off the tree, bring them in and turn them upside down into a bucket of water. You probably need a couple of buckets and vases to do this or fill up the bath or the sink and kind of basically drown them. So let the petals go down into the water and leave them for about 15 minutes, okay? And let them really absorb the water. Like it's a great way of reviving the flowers. And they're taking a huge amount of water through their petals and they last for ages. Now, when you go to lift them up, so when they're after being dumped in the water, be real slow about lifting them up because they'll be a ton weight, they'll be full of water. And if you go to stand them up straight away, you'll probably break the heads. So let them kind of like drip dry for a couple of seconds. That's all it's going to take. And then stand them up the right way. Now, that's only one quick tip. I've about 20 tips for hydrangeas. So what I want you to do is go to the blog page and then you will be able to um, see a video of the actually treating hydrangeas so you can see there i'm only using three stems i have the three stems cut the same height inserted them into the flower foam and i have them kind of around the twigs and then what i've made is a little organza bow you've seen me making these bows loads of times on the classes or on the lives so again it's all about saving time here tonight so this is just an organza bow anybody new that's watching go to the blog page on the website flowerschoolireland.com and I have um, great articles there all about making bows and there's about 20 different tutorials on making different types of bows. So again, I'm not going to waste time kind of tonight. 
So you can see there with the bow, just a little bit of organza there. I'm just basically tying a double knot and I'm going to just cut these short. I'm not cutting them right off. I'm leaving a little bit kind of sticking out. That's just kind of like 215. 215. So fair play to you. So how's the photograph? So we got to sell these up. I haven't got into the comments yet. Okay, so, Deirdre's, just... so while Deirdre's looking for the photographs of the flare crowns, we need to get the next competition going because we've loads of prizes to give away tonight. So what's the next question? So the next question is, so the school was opened in, 19, in May of 1987. So how many years are we in business? What birthday are we celebrating? So 1987 is yeah. when the school opened, May 1987. So how many years are we in business? So while you're working all that out, Deirdre's looking for the selfie photographs. I'm now going to cut a couple of uh, the hydrangeas very short and I'm going to go around the bottom of the container pressing them right down onto the base. Now at this stage I'll probably move it back up onto the turntable just that it'll be at a better height for me there and I can see what I'm doing. So you can see how simple this arrangement is and it'll make a gorgeous centrepiece. And like when your hydrangeas come into flower in the garden you'll have absolutely no excuse not to be able to make these. And this particular container, somebody might say to me, where did you buy this container? I haven't a clue. I actually think it was Ikea, to be honest, but I'm not really sure. But it's one of these containers that you could pick up in the likes of Dunn stores. I see Woody's is open, so you could join the queue outside Woody's, and you could queue up, and you could get something like this in the likes of Woody's. You could have something like this at home already, and your story maybe you're displaying a plant in. So you can see now, with the remaining um, hydrangeas, so I think I've used, um, I've, I've one left over, so I also used nine in total. So six around the bottom. I could have spread them out. So six hydrangeas around the bottom of that. There you go. And then something else that I just picked up that was a little bit different, but to be honest, I just found them, um, was just like artificial limes, okay? So you could use lemons or limes, but these were limes that you put in your Corona drink. Sorry, one of them went flying there. And what I have is, um, the little kind of kebab sticks, I suppose you call them. your Corona drink. No, not nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just saying, to push the kebab stick, you see, up into the line, and I'm going to use three of these, just kind of displayed in between the hydrangeas. So you're just going to find this, the selfies. Um, there's a good few people, the comments are actually flying, so I'm trying to keep up with them. Okay. But there's a good few people saying they cast you to the television, <laughs> it's better than any television show. <laughs> okay, you know that. Okay, the winner of the first prize is Mary O'Connor. And she got the answer right with 33 years. <laughs> yeah. So girls, we have, and fellas, we have a confession to make, right? I was convinced we were 34 years in business. Absolutely, no doubt about it. Absolutely convinced we were 34 years in business. And yesterday we went around to mum and dad's and I was getting mum and dad to do the little video that we posted on the page earlier on. And so mum turned around and she said, yeah, Case Flair School was established in 1987. And I'm kind of there, 1987, and 3 is 90, and 10 is 2000, and 20. And I said to Deirdre, that's only 33 years. I said, we're only 33 years in business, we're not 34 at all. So we're going to have to do this all again next year, we are. <laughs> so that's how we said we do a competition. So apologies, we've skipped the 33rd birthday, and we're just straight on to the 34th. Um, just for Instagram, the winner was Aideen Jordan, and she got it right with 33 years, so thanks, Aideen. Fair play, um, Just a couple of people are sending um, answers in text messages. No, I can't get the them. No, answers on the page, because we won't be able to, otherwise we lose it. Yeah. So, so Mary O'Connor and Aideen Jordan, just pass on your um, PM DM us your address, and we get your prize, which is going to be stem strippers. So you're going to get a stem stripper in the post. So send on your address and we'll send them on in the post. How's the flare crown pictures coming out? I haven't seen any yet, but I'm sure there's some of the okay. comments. Okay, so I do just looking for the flare crowns um, photographs. I just have this moss. I showed you this moss on Wednesday night when the delivery came in. So it's called reindeer moss or Lapland moss or Norwegian moss. And what I'm just doing is I'm stuffing it down into any little gaps, even around the side there. So any little spaces where you might still see a little bit of foam or in among the hydrangeas, to be honest, it doesn't need that much. And then I'm often saying to the students, like any little bits of wires that you have left over, I keep all my off cuts of wires where we mean we are. And what I'm doing then is I'm bending them over in half, making little hairpins out of them, and then I'm able to stick the hairpins down through that moss and it holds it in place and it stops it kind of blowing out. A bit like what, um, if anybody's old enough to remember, Hilda Ogden on Carnation Street and the way she used the hair clips to hold her rollers in. So that's 
last one just down there. So again, quick look around and just see another little gap over here. I'm just going to put another little bit of moss in. Maybe Facebook is here. not letting me go back far enough in the comments to see if anybody posted the photographs. So if you are wearing a flag, flag crab, send the photograph again. Okay. Because I couldn't see it at the beginning. Um, and I'll see it again when it comes through again. So the winner of the flower crown um, competition, they're actually going to win a flower crown kit. Now I know they've made one already, but we have an online flower crown um, tutorial which shows them how to make, it's either four or five different flower crowns using orchids, germany, spray roses, all gyp, large roses and a mixture of flowers I think it is. And it's normally 200 euros. So whoever is going to win the flower crown um, competition they're going to win um, the online course plus the kit to actually make flare crowns and we're going to post that out to them so get the photograph up there fast and to be honest with this competition right like it's whatever we see first okay in case somebody says afterwards oh i had my photograph up so many times or whatever like we're restricted here with wi-fi we're on phones here trying to watch it and um, deirdre's on the drink there so we have to just kind of see how it goes so there's our little hydrangea arrangement using nine hydrangeas so as I said, go out to your garden, cut the stems there approximately that length. If you have a few twigs, you could use the twigs to grass. the end of it, remember? Oh yeah, I forgot the little twigs. So just with the ends of these twigs, I just made like little bunches of them. And what I'm just going to do now is just kind of insert them here and there. And again, it's just to give me another little bit of texture in and out through the arrangement. I forgot I had this organized. So here we go. So I think we have about six that we organized. So I'll put a few of these in. So again, simple enough arrangement, um, you could obviously use other flowers as well, but the whole idea of today's class was to show you using something that you can possibly get out of your own garden. So I'm just adding in then three little bunches of sticks, I actually think it's enough just to pick up the sticks that's through the arrangement. Just um, our winners on Twitter the other night, we never announced them. We never announced them, them. Twitter the other night. Them. So oh, you it's stuck on the wall over there, I see are, yes. So the other night we were on Twitter, I'm going to push this over to one side, and we had a competition for three 200 euro vouchers for people who retweeted, got involved and so on. So again, the three winners of the 200 euro vouchers on Twitter are Silver Bling, so she does silver jewellery. So Silver Bling, you won a 200 euro voucher. Heather Betsy, she's actually flarepop.ie is her company and the Flare Shed. So I think, Catherine I think is her name. So the Flare Shed, Flower Pop, Heather Betsy, and Silver Bling, a silver jewellery company. You're three, you three are the winners of the 200 euro voucher on Twitter the other night for the online school. So again, send us your address and we'll send you on the codes. Okay, I'm just doing a quick roll call here. Just a few people that have checked in. That we, we say we have all our usuals, obviously. Yep. We have Anna Louise, we have Julie, we have Elaine, we have Joan, we have Catherine. We have Lynn McBennett, she's doing great. Oh, hiya Lynn, how are you? Love having Lynn Rose. You. Isn't that Lynn Rose Flares? Post your link in. Post your, anybody that's watching that has a flower business, post your link in the comments below. And um, Mr. K is on and he says, I have it now, it's a pandemic. He pandemic. Like he couldn't get the word pandemic out. <laughs> if you haven't seen the video, go back and look at it later on. I tell you, it's just absolutely hilarious. It As is. I said, I can't find the photographs of the flower crowns, but if you know what, post them to the page. And we will give the first three people on the post to page. Okay, so can see photographs of the flare crowns. So whoever is so Catherine, I know, is saying here. She says she's trying to post it. And she can't post it. Um, who else have we got? Sinead is on, and she says that she went to jail for us, and she didn't win the prize. Oh, sorry, Sinead. Sinead got locked up in Twitter jail the other night for for retweeting too much. That's what happens <laughs> to you sometimes. That's what happens to you. Um. Let me see, Liz Mulvey, oh God, the, the, the comments are just moving too fast for me to um to comment. Can you do a balloon tutorial please, Jenny wants to know. <laughs> I said that, do you know when Deirdre done this here today, I says, what's the bet? I says they'll ask you how to make one of them. They are so easy to make, you want to see her, I'm not messing, like 20 minutes, half an hour she had this made. Took her longer to blow up the balloons I did. So definitely that's something you will have to do. Say hello mm -hmm. Eileen the newbie, she says from Wexford. Hi Eileen, how are you? Be, Welcome to the mad crowd. She missed out on the flower crown post minding her door. We didn't actually make a flower crown, we were just anybody that did make them. Yeah, um, no we didn't do, didn't make them ourselves here tonight. We made them last Friday we did. So we could go and some people bought the flower crown kits to make them. And I said to them that we were going to run a flower crown competition tonight. Heather has just joined. Heather you won the 200 euro voucher on Twitter. Twitter from the other night. night. Um, Orna says she missed the start of it because she was feeding the baby. Mo 
Get your priorities right. Yeah, let the child start. Oh my God. <laughs> so what about anybody that's having a drink post photograph? Yes. Oh no, there must be a problem posting Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, okay, maybe anybody that's having a drink, tell us you're having a drink and tell us what you're, post what you're drinking. Are you drinking wine? Are you drinking water? Water, water cup of tea, cup of coffee? And we're going to have a prize, are we? Mm -hmm. So what's the next prize going so to be? So the next prize is going to be two of these bags. Here, show them the bags. Okay. Floral Guppy, which is a company in Canada, they sent us out a couple of these bags, right? So they're kind of like florist bags. They have pockets. They open out really, really wide here, as you can see. And they're absolutely great for kind of holding all your materials in. And you see all the pockets around the side and the brand name Floral Guppy is on the side of them. So we have two of these to give away. So the first, what we say, the fifth and the sixth person. So start posting. The fifth and the sixth person that posts what they're drinking, whether it's a glass of water, a bottle of wine, or a cup of tea, they're going to win a prize. They're going to win a bag. So start posting there quick. Just tell us. You don't have to post a photograph. Just tell us what you're doing. So while Deirdre is counting up the drinks there, I'm going to show you the here. <laughs> I'm going to show you what the next arrangement. We're actually moving faster. Yes. I just was afraid that um, we'd get carried away doing arrangements here tonight and we wouldn't get a chance to run the kind of competitions as well. So these are sets of hat boxes and they come in sets of threes. And I bought these, does anybody from a flower shop that's watching, I bought them actually from Central Floral Supplies in County Cork. You can only deal with them if you're actually in the trade and you're wholesale. So otherwise, if you're not in the trade, is you can deal with one of your local flower shops and they will get them in for you. And they come in sets of three. So that's the larger one. And this is the medium one there, right? So because when we were sending out the kits during the week, um, that included the... Bulb bowl. I'm just going to get the bulb bowls just to show you. Sorry for going off camera there for a second. Okay, we have a winner anyway while you're doing that, Jeanette, on Facebook for the bag is Laura Louise Conita. Okay, so Laura Louise, you won one of the bags. So and send us on your address and we'll post it out. On Instagram, it's the Irish Bargain. And she's actually a great person to follow, the Irish Bargain. Go follow her. If you're looking for bargains, okay. she's brilliant. But she is drinking a bottle of Bud. Oh, very good. And Laura is drinking Prosecco and strawberries. So oh, never very posh, very posh, Laura. <laughs> so the Irish Bargain, post your link to your page there as well. And maybe some of the girls that are following us here tonight will pop over and, and follow you too. And both of you, send on your address and you're going to win a floral guppy bag and I must tag him actually he's in Canada and then maybe might pop over and visit his page as well so these are the bulb bowls and um, you can buy them again in your local flower shop and what they hold is a half a block of floral foam so just to kind of show you here what I have here is just a half a block of floral foam and it's not even necessary to use a frog's leg in the end of the container. Sometimes if I'm using a smaller piece, I put a frog's leg, here's a frog's leg here, in the end of the container just to stop my oasis sliding around. But I kind of find without trimming it, well, I know I normally trim it, but without trimming the foam, it just fits securely into that. And then what will happen is it'll fit down just nice and neat down into them flower boxes. And if the flower box is a little bit bigger, normally what I do then is I get like crushed up cellophane or even crushed up paper and I make like a snake around the outside of the plastic bowl and the inside of the, the, the hat box and it just stops the bowl shifting around or moving around. Again, if you do have any questions with any arrangements that I've done, post it in the comments below and I'll answer them tomorrow. I won't answer them tonight, but no, I'll answer them tomorrow. No, definitely not tonight. And I see my husband is watching that and he says, up oh, Cork, I hope he's not drinking because he's coming to collect me. John, you better not be drinking. You have to go and come and collect Deirdre. Because I'm drinking. <laughs> um, okay, another question because we, we've all these prizes to get, get out okay. of here. And um, we have aprons and different colour aprons okay, to give so away. Okay, we have a couple of the branded aprons from Kay's Flare School. So what's two of them there, is there? So what's the next question? So going the to next be? question is going to be: What are we launching tonight? Not okay. our birthday, obviously. We're launching yeah. something. We else. It's our birthday, but what are we launching tonight? Or what were we supposed to launch tonight? Yeah, that we actually. But we couldn't launched. hold our pee, and we launched it last week. Then we got ahead of ourselves. So what was the uh, the official launch tonight? Um, tent answer. Yeah. Yeah. Tent answer on Instagram. Tent answer on on Facebook. And you're, what about Twitter? Yeah, well, I, I don't think they can comment on Twitter or I can't see it. So, but I think we will. I pick for a couple of people on Twitter. We'll send them out stem strippers because we yeah. don't. And so the same on. So, that's on Twitter, keep tw um, keep twi tweeting, tweeting away. Twitting away. Keep tweeting um, and away. the same thing on YouTube. I can't see the comments, so we will look well, after. We we'll won't leave you out, okay? So, just because we're only announcing Facebook and Instagram winners, we will definitely go back and we look through all the comments and replies on Twitter and 
YouTube and we send something out to some of you as well. So just keep commenting, then we'll contact you through the page. Okay, so what's the quest? Oh yeah, what are we launching tonight? Tent winner is going to win a flower staple. So start commenting. So what I did, um, well, I rang up Dad and I said, Dad, any chance of cutting us a bit of your pittosporum tree? So he has a fantastic pittosporum tree grown in the garden. Because I was over here um, earlier down this evening, had the hair blow dry, and I said, I'm fact now I'm going to walk across the road and get a bit of green out of the garden and get all my hair blown all over the place. So I rang him, he has hardly any hair, and I said, you come on over there with the greenie. So just short little bits of pittosporum. Pittosporum is kind of shooting at the moment. And what I'm doing now is I'm just working around the outside of the hat box. I'm placing the greenie in on a slant, and um, you can see the way it's just overlapping over the edge of the box there. So really simple. Now instead of the pittosporum, you could use your eucalyptus. Anybody has eucalyptus in the garden? But this time of the year, I see the um, the ceanotus with the purple flare on it is in flare. The eleagnus with the pink flare is just coming into flare. Yours could be in flare already. Some of the hebes. David has a question there. Michael Cost, no, not a question. Michael Costello Lynch from the Irish Flowers Group. Hi, Michael. On. How are you? Happy birthday to all your dad. It was hilarious. <laughs> He's absolutely gas, isn't he, Michael? Now, Michael, post a link to your flowers page. Michael is down in Tipperary, Limerick. I'm actually not 100% sure. He's in the country anyway. He's not in Dublin. <laughs> and um, if he posts a link, and maybe you'll all pop over and follow um, Michael's page. He and Michael probably sells um, sundries. Absolutely. And he'll get the hat boxes in for you. So anybody that's looking for hat boxes, you can always contact Michael and he'll get them in for you. Or if you're ever looking for wires or floral foam or rolls of ribbon or whatever it might be, he will look after you. And again, if there's any other flowers watching, Feel free, post your links. It's all about supporting everybody here tonight. It's not all about me. No, definitely not. It's never about you. It's all about me. So you can see how simple that is there. It's just basically I worked around the edge there with some greeny, bit of greeny in the centre and a few little filling in pieces. And that's our little um, hat box greened up. I'll just hold it on a stand there that you can kind of get the effect of it. Yeah. Okay, so we have winners. We have a winner on Instagram. Now, please, the winners, will you just PM us or DM us your address so we can get the stuff in the post to you. The winner on Instagram is Sarah Brazel. I think it was seven tree or something like that and the winner on Facebook is Alice McCann so if Alice Sarah McCann down in Cork I wonder if that's the same Alice is okay, it? are you the Alice McCann, Alice McCann in Cork that met my mum and dad in Russia I don't oh, know are you yeah, the same yeah, one be, not sure very well, they, anyway so they're the two winners of the aprons so please get in touch okay we need another one let me see what else are we going to give away I think we have more steps here so I'm going to give some of the more details okay so what's the next question uh, who is funding the 50% off Okay, so of what, what company in Ireland is funding the 50% discount off the online courses? So instead of the course costing you 800 euros, it's only going to cost you 400 euros. Um, you can either give the long word or you can give the short word. Yeah, either or will do. You know when you're laughing and you're in? Of laughter. <laughs> <laughs> blank, blankly blank of laughter. Well, that's the word, okay? And it's not that comes out of your nose for any of the ones. No, that it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not any of them that comes out of your nose. No, definitely not. So these are the Duchess kind of a pink rose. And what you can see there is I just have inserted one to the centre. And now what I'm going to do is just bring a few of them kind of around the outside. Possibly um, maybe five or six of them. So we'll go, we'll go for six anyway. So there I have three in so far. Do you see them I just kind of spaced around the outside? And then maybe another, it might take more than six. So I'm just putting them in the same way I put the greenery in, just going around the outside. Now again, you could go into your local flower shop. I know a lot of flower shops are closed at the moment, but they'll all be opening and go up again on the 8th of June. So if your shop, your local shop is not open, they will be open on the 8th of June and they really, really be depending on local support. So even if it's just to go in and buy a small plant or a bunch of flowers, even pop in and say hello and a big smile, you won't be able to pop in, you'll probably have to look through the Perspex glass. But um, like flower shops have been closed now for nearly, they will be for over three months. They've had obviously all their rents to pay and all their overheads and some of them had staff bills and it's really really been disheartening and I'm like I'm broken heart for some of them so really try and give as much support as you possibly can well, okay so we have a winner um, on Facebook it was Suzanne Cray it's the winner of the stem stripper and on Instagram it's Regu or E-G-U 1979 so some young one so Regu young one. It was born <laughs> in 1979 um, you're the winners of the stem strippers. Drop me in PM or DM at your address and we'll get them in the post to you. 
Okay, so again, just to show you here with this little hat basket, I just have a ring of roses going around the outside, and I have a rose then standing up kind of in the center. And then with just a couple of little roses left over, I'm gonna work around the center rose, and again, just put a few of them in, just a little bit um, smaller, just making like a circle going around. It's just just a question, um, right. I think Eileen says, do you need to do anything with the roses before you put them in? Yeah, because we would have treated and conditioned all these flowers first. So rather than delaying time here, what I'll do is I'll post a blog on treatment of roses. Actually go to our blog page on the website, flowerschoolireland.com. I have a full blog with a video, step-by-step -step video, how to like get peonies open, how to get your lilies open, how to get your, uh, how to condition your roses, how to stop gerbers drooping, how to condition jip, how to condition hydrangeas. We have loads and loads of blogs, iris, um, ranunculus, like every flower you can possibly think of. Now, by the way, when I just think of it here, I wanted to click share. So anybody that wasn't with us at the very, very beginning, remember I said I wanted to click share. So get that button there, click share. We can see if you click share, okay? So don't be <laughs> saying you did, because we know it. Uh, a couple of people didn't. are saying that it's going in and out of focus. I say that's to do with the Wi-Fi. We have four. Could be the drink. Oh, could be the if drink. They're drinking, they're drinking, drinking around so drink. I think they're drinking. If you are drinking, of course we're going to go blurred for you. That, that's <laughs> absolutely, that's guaranteed. Talking about blurred, yeah, you fill up my glass. Up. Yeah, I need to talk up too. Um, it is the Alice McCann from Russia. All right, yes. hey Alice, so, how are you? Lovely to talk to you. I haven't seen and talked to you in a Just um, Mr. K is on there. So, Dad, Alice that you met with red hair from Russia is also in the links there watching. Cheers, dear. Happy Cheers. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Great night, isn't it? Anybody else that's watching there, say Anybody cheers. Else have a, anybody else have a birthday today, we give them something special. Yeah, anybody that has a birthday. Hold back their driver's license to prove <laughs> Just tell us if you're having a birthday, even yesterday, today, and tomorrow. You know, we'll give you whatever. First up with their birthday, what are you going to win? I'm going to give them a I'll roll a rhythm. Roll a rhythm. Yeah. What have we got? Roll of the... Uh, Pink has to be pink. Has to be pink. Has to be pink. There we go. So roll pink ribbon and you can get in and make all your own bowl you can. So whoever's party it is, send us your name. There are posts in the comments. First one on Instagram, first one on Twitter or on um, YouTube. Can you please tell me the name of the foliage that you're using in the hat box? Pittosporum. So Pittosporum is something that it's actually out of my own dad's garden, but like most people would have pits sperm grown. So it's something that you'd be able to no problem at all, definitely. Like, but you could use eucalyptus. Eucalyptus would be fabulous, especially with pink flowers. I find eucalyptus is fabulous. So you can see there, I started around the center middle rows. I put about five or six roses around it. And then the couple of roses that was left over, I just basically filled them in and out. So you want to know what I'm drinking? I think it's Lidl's best. Little Prosecco. <laughs> five euros. And I actually don't know what she was. Haven't we got a clue? But uh, it's lovely, it's lovely. We decided that we'd go for the pink Prosecco scene that we're Oh, Samantha Kelly, the tweeting guy. Hi, Samantha. Put your link up there, Samantha. Annie, because that was the other night. A couple of people were saying they didn't understand about Twitter. They didn't know how to tweet. Some of them didn't know how to, didn't know how to set up an account. So Samantha Kelly runs Twitter courses. She's an expert. She has two books published and she's always running workshops. So they're very reasonable, they're actually really well priced. For nothing, like, like yeah. Deirdre would have done one of our tweeting courses. One of our tweeting courses. Give up the drink, Jeanette. Yeah, give up the drink. Um, so, Samantha, post your link there, and then anybody then, if you're interested in Twitter courses or learning about Twitter, just scroll down till you see Samantha tweeting Goddess. I'm looking for the dip, Deirdre. On the table beside the arrangement. Oh, there we um, go. Okay, on, in, uh, on Facebook we have Julie Ann Anderson. That's like Julie Ann Andrews. Julie yeah. <laughs> Julianne Anderson. Anderson. It's her birthday in two days. The so music. Okay, so you won the prize. So send us on your um, your name and address, and we're going to post that roller ribbon to you, Julie Andrews. Uh, Julianne Anderson. Anderson. She knows who we're talking about. She knows who we're talking about. Um, so um, I'm just. Some of the people are saying here, Jeanette, that you should be on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> My mum and dad has me on the telly. <laughs> uh, the hat box is lush. The roses are gorgeous. Yeah, they are for fabulous. Yeah, they're roses. fabulous roses, I'd say. Yeah. So I'm just cutting up a couple of little sprigs of the jip. When you're buying jip in your local florist, um, you'll get jip that has big balls on it and jip that has little balls on it. So if you're looking for the one with the big balls, that's what I'm using today, it's called Overtime. If you're looking for the one with the small balls, it's Million Star. And um, Sandra from Lickabell, you know. Oh, hey, Sandra. Is she Mayo, is she? I no. think she's Cork as well, is she? Mayo or Cork? Tell us where you are, Sandra. She's saying hello and happy birthday. Hi, yes. I, you know, I was only talking about, um, what were we saying about her the other day? And I said she wants to name her... Um, Oh, the Twitter, we were looking, because you remember she was starting out on Twitter and she was looking for, I'm drinking, watching you, making pancakes. Um, making pancakes, I'm <laughs> drinking. <laughs> well, you make up your mind, you 
mind what you're doing, whoever that is. Um, on Instagram, Ja Works is what, um, that, who that is. Um, little Buds Flowers Design. Love the hat box design. Again, I have Little yeah. Buds, if you, if you sell all the hat boxes or you sell the ribbon or the wires or whatever, feel free, post your link, post as much advertisements there as you want. You're more than more than welcome. We don't mind people advertising on our pages. And it means that if anybody watching here wants to source material, at least you know there's a flower shop, like that, you could that maybe post the stuff out to them or they can pop in and buy it off you. I'm just basically sticking the jib in anywhere here, by the way. Just Tullamore is where Sandra is. Tullamore, that's right. Um, Tullamore. Helen Dickinson said she's loving your accent. Somebody <laughs> told me there last week she couldn't understand me that I speak too fast. I do speak very fast, I know I do. Mum and Dad used to say to me I should always get, I could have got a job at the horse racing commentary. And he's coming up in the lead. Oh, job works is Aga from Galway. Oh, hey Aga, how are you? Long time no see. Absolutely. Uh, Maisie Yoon, I want to know, is the fresh flowers? Yeah, we only deal in fresh, we only yeah, work with fresh, fresh flowers. flowers here. Where's um, the Fly that we had. He was on top of the roses in the bucket. He's had to flying off, is he? Oh, I think him. Um, Heather says she's just got Sid asleep. Sid would have enjoyed watching this, yeah, Heather. Absolutely. I see him in his little swim pool the other day. It's gorgeous. Well, you know, we love gin. So we have a, a bottle of Hendrix and a bottle of Bloom. <laughs> and what I did was I just put one of them bat sticks just at the back of them. And I just think we were giving this as a present for somebody who likes their little bit of gin, like myself, wouldn't it be lovely now just to add in like a couple of little bottles? Now, I only got two, you know that way. But isn't it a lovely little idea there just to add them in? I do, it's just got me a little butterfly. I love the butterflies. Everybody loves butterflies. So again, you can get these from your local flower shop. They'll have all different types of them. There's already a wire on this one, but sometimes when we go to take them out of the box, you pull the wire and the butterfly pops off. So I end up having to use one of my own wires on it. So again, I'm just sticking that little wire down into the flower foam and just letting our butterfly bounce and fly over it. So there's our little half box. Oh, I have one more little trick. I, I might have to move my buttons forward. I have one little trick. People are always asking me, oh, yeah. how do I include the lid of the hat box, right? So I'm going to hold this up close. It's a bit untidy and a bit messy looking, right? But what I've used is some wires with good tape and some anchor tape. And you can see there the way I've made a little stem, you see, coming out of it. So I'd forgotten I was going to do this. Jesus. <laughs> Give up the drink. drink. You hang on a second. Now, Deirdre Pike goes on. She says, um, I'm going to move my bottles forward. Okay. Your bottle? Oh, your bottles. Oh, so, so what's she talking about? Her bottles. <laughs> um, somebody said that. Oh, your, ha your hair band. They're loving your hair band. Oh, hair band. Do you know, I got three of these. Um, you know, I get all the hair bands from Spicy B, Bernadine. She's a past student of the school. I think she's in Limerick. I'm nearly sure she's in Limerick anyway. And she does do, well, I think they're fabulous hair bands. And these ones just have so much detail in them. So this is kind of like a bluey green one and I have a pale pink one, of course I have to have a pink one and it was a gorgeous cream one as well. Um, very reasonably priced, I will. I don't know, Bernadine, if Why you do you wear them, them Jeanette? I wear them to cover my roots. <laughs> I'm not even going to move the hair. If you've seen me, I'm not a natural blonde, obviously. And uh, my roots are about that much now coming out from my head. So the hair bands were that width there for the last few weeks and now they've just got wider. And I've told Bernadine, seeing the hairdressers won't be open till the make thicker hair bands. Of July. She's to look out for hair bands that width now, like to cover it. So what I'm, I just moved the box. Um, Muscle mushrooms is on, and is it Killaloo she is? Uh, County Clare, I think. Yeah, and she's. My, her kids were five the other day. Oh my god! Kids, yeah. So again, um, Lisa, Muscle mushrooms, and um, post a link to your page. So Lisa is a student of ours from a long, 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 long time ago. And when she was here at the school, she was mad about moss and mushrooms. And she said to us that when she, would, when she was eventually going to open her business, she was going to call it moss and mushrooms. But then she went down and she had triplets she did, not just one. She went, the whole hog had three of them and there were five the other day. So there I just added the lid onto our little hat box. Heather Betsy says she needs a tour but not <laughs> I know, is it just mad? And you know, I keep cutting my own fringe and eventually my fringe is going to be brown because like there'll be no blonde left at the end of my hair. And maybe grey. Oh my god, I'm not grey here. Must have mushrooms wave back at me. Um what's we say? Who else we like got? Am I making flare arrangements here? <laughs> no, they actually, I, I can't get through all the comments. The comments are literally going so fast, they're blurring in front of my eyes. <laughs> problems with the blurring please comment below and there'll be a prize for whoever, whoever that's the most blurred whoever has the most blurred vision there now is definitely going to win the next prize which i think should be a florist scissors 
So, um, oh, Bernie Hurley says, we are live with you, but you can't post. I can see you now, Bernie, you're posting. Um, let me see. Elaine McNamee says, I've heard of Moss and Mushrooms. My family are from Ballina, Killinoo. So that must be go. where... Make a new friend there, Elaine. Elaine, meet Lisa. Lisa, meet Elaine. I think one is on Instagram, one is on Facebook, though. That's the only issue there. You just need to swap over, girls. Um, Bernadine it was my housemate years ago. Oh, Moss and Mushrooms. Oh, that's Oh, my that's, God. That's, that's gas. That's such a small world. Oh, my God. Bernadine's lovely she is. Actually, the earrings are from Bernadine as well. They're like a little snake. I don't you can see them there, but half the snake is in one part of the front of the ear and the back, the back of the snake is coming out the other end of the ear. So, um, have different earrings in every day. Okay, we have to give a prize. We're going to send a stem stripper out. And, uh, this one's on the drink too much. <laughs> yeah, we send a scissors for okay, blurred. scissors for blurred. So, Paula, for the blurred um, vision, you're going to get a splat of scissors. So, send us on your name and address. <laughs> you better write down what prize you won't because at this stage, we won't even remember what you won. The hat box is fab. Adele Crowley said the hat box is fab. Oh, my I vision is always blurry. I need to put my specs on. Everything will be better. <laughs> um, Deirdre Crawford said fabulous arrangement. Um, Barbara Gagan says my guy, eyes are so blurred, Jeanette. It looks like you're a natural blonde. <laughs> well, do you know what? Rolling ribbon for Barbara Gagan. Then. <laughs> I see. Absolutely. Thanks a million, Barbara. I'd say your hair is absolutely gorgeous as well. So send us on your address, Barbara, and you're going to win. And tell us what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us what you want because Deirdre won't remember now at this stage. So what else have we got to give away, David? What um, about some courses? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So tell us what would they like, what online course would they like to win? You can't win the online program as no, the No, no, like, we're not, now hang on a second. You know, we do have it's to... It's only our second torty torch party. <laughs> not our torty fort. <laughs> not our torty fort. Anybody that's new joining us there or later joining us there this evening, we made a bit of a cock up on the Bertie party. We thought it was our 34th birthday, but it's actually only our 33rd birthday. So we're going to have to do all this next year again, but it doesn't matter, sure. We doesn't matter. Party. So what we want you to do is we want to, I think we give five. Will, will we give five? Uh, okay. I think the more drunk we get next month. <laughs> many, many prizes to you as well. Do you tell us many prizes? Okay, so list what course, what online course you would like to win. Yeah. And I'll pick the 20th answer on Facebook because that's flying. It's absolutely okay. flying. Right, so the 20th answer, comment as many times as you want. So tell and us I might pick course. 21, 22 and 23. Right, and so on Instagram, we pick 10, 11 and 12. Okay, that's so six. Instagram, if you've got all that lot and we haven't repeated it all again, start telling us what course you would like to win. So what courses have we got? We have pedestal courses. We have topiary tree courses. We have garland courses. We have... Flower crown courses. They're coming in Christmas courses, wedding Christmas bouquets. courses, spring courses, autumn courses, um, table ring courses, Moongate, Moongate. arches, arches. We have loads uh, of courses. The ring, the hoop. Flower hoop courses, suspended garlands, trailing garlands. Okay, now I'm going to start counting. So you just keep talking okay. about what I count, will you? Well, you better, I don't know what else to talk about. I'm after finishing my two arrangements quicker than I thought it was going to be. Because I said to Deirdre, now listen, keep the push on here. I says, I don't want to keep kind of like yapping, doing flare arranging, and we're not getting all the prizes out, and we're not able to relate. So I really flew into them two arrangements. So again, if anybody has any questions, I can't see the questions anyway, but she'll ask away there. She never know. We might get back to you at some stage. If anybody has any questions, these hydrangeas are called Verena, by the way, green Verena. Um, they're great quality um hydrangea just if you're buying them in commercially you can get them in a well you can get them in lots of colors but the pale pink one is absolutely fabulous this rose is called the Duch duchess rose and again would be beautiful for wedding work okay so we have um oh geez they're, they're, they're moving too fast to me hang on a second <laughs> i have to go back Sandra Losty wants to win the hoop course. She was 21. I okay, Sandra, you're 21. You won the hoop course. Send she, she was 21. Yes. She says, not being a celebrant anymore because of COVID. I want to spread happiness with flowers and I need to know how to do them. The hoop course, please. So and Sandra, poor Sandra fell there the other day. Know, you see, I yeah. see the size of her ankle. Sandra, post a photograph of She's number 20. Bern that bird is number... Uh, Sandra's number 21. Bern that bird is number 20. She wants a Christmas course. Okay, so tell us Christmas. The, the you're going to so tell us in the message. Put your email, we need the email for the online course. So, Bernadette Bourne, send us your email and tell us what was the Christmas course you won. 
And Sandra. Sandra, you wanted a hoop course, I think. And the next one is Sandra as well. And she's Sandra Grude O'Dite Conway. And she wants the Christmas wreath course. That's on Facebook. So chat away there now. Okay, so I hope you've got that. So Sandra, something, something. Oh, the cupcake bloke has joined in. Graham, your cake is amazing. Oh, the cake is absolutely amazing. Oh, Jane, you're me. Why is that spilling? Good job, I brought the blue tissue in. <laughs> I was going to slide over the cake so that you could see it. We had the cake on there earlier on. So Graham the Cupcake Bloke, who is in my alto, just about two shops around the corner from ourselves there. I think we're probably one of his best customers. I think so. <laughs> the size of us. <laughs> um, Speak for cakes, yourself. His cakes are absolutely amazing, they are. And um, just, oh my God, just fabulous. And he started this, um, just this week, he has these chocolate macho micados. Oh my God, they're just divine. So if you happen to be passing by through Rialto, he actually does online as well. So maybe, Graham, if you're still watching there, put the link up for your online and for the cupcake shop. And um, definitely recommend the Brax to anybody, especially have an older member in the family, he'll actually post the Brax out to them. The Brax are amazing. Get a block of real butter, plaster onto it, fab. Okay, on Instagram, we have Ruth again, R-U-T-H-E-G. Is the bottle, Deirdre? here in front of you don't i didn't drink it all ruth and she's looking for the spring wreath course so ruth again a oh, ruth egan is that ruth egan oh ruth egan i see it now ruth egan 93 and um, you the spring wreath course drop us an email pm dm and we'll send you a code for that and the irish bargain they've won the garland course so drop us they an email the, oh she did yeah no we did say that we weren't going to have okay so the next one is paula kirwin and she, she wants only put one prize per person just to be fair sorry irish bargain um, so the next one is Paul Keir, 154, and they want to do the wedding course. Well, I wonder which wedding course they want to do. Tell us so, what wedding course, tell you, what want wedding course you want to do, um, and we'll send that. It's probably the garland, the wedding garland. Um, we'll send you an email with them details in it. So that's that's the five courses. And look at Flares by Anna Louise. The great guinea pig, so she wants a moon gate. So Anna Louise, send us an email, and I'll send you the code for the moon gate. So the way the online course is, when you email us, Tell us the course that you, you won there and Deirdre will give you a code and then you'll be able to log in and you use the code and obviously you purchase the course for free. So that's how that works. So, oh, okay, our numbers are gone down, our numbers are gone down to 189. Once you stop making flowers, they just don't want to know us anymore. Um, so yeah, so that's it really. So that's the birthday that's celebration. We went a bit quicker than we thought. It was supposed to be an error, but sure. I tell you, I'm fair, I think I'm fairly well on now, so I think it's time to... Yeah, go off camera. Lock, lock down. <laughs> lock down. Time to lock down it is. So listen again, thanks a million everybody for all your support. Like, not just tonight, like I'm talking like throughout the whole year, but especially in the last few weeks, um, with the school being closed down, you have been so supportive, you've been absolutely fantastic about sharing all our posts, getting involved, you know the way. And like I know you're saying the crack you are having, but look like the crack that we're getting on this end. Tell them about the girl from China today. Oh, Jamie, Mac. We were in here this morning, but Deirdre was making the balloon arch, and we were putting our bit of disco bling up. And um, about one o'clock today, and this message came in from Yin, Y-I-N, girl in China anyway. And she says, where are you? Is it seven o'clock, you know? And we were saying, no, seven o'clock Irish time. So I said, you'll have to come on later on. So she texted me there only a little while ago, she's going to bed. So Yin, if you did stay up to watch us, Y-I-N, nighty night, <laughs> sleep time. And she's watching on the record. I told her she's watching, watching on the morning. record, tell us to her email address and we'll send her codes. Yes, yeah, so Yin in China, if you are watching on the record, you definitely deserve a prize. So we're going to give you, tell us what online course you want to win. Yeah, and we're going to send you a code for that. So. And that's it. She definitely deserves it. That's it. Away. We have to make a few bulk here now. We have to start working. And the COVID yeah. 19, 350 euros will only go so far. Was your fair play to you, Bradsker? Yeah, absolutely. Up, Leo. Yeah. Cheers, Leo. <laughs> right, listen. Happy birthday to us. To us. Thanks a million, everybody, for joining in. We're going to go now before we make a show of ourselves. And should we be back on, on Monday morning? So we probably won't post any of them parcels um, on Monday because we're not for all And Monday. even the online videos, it'll be yeah, Monday. Yeah, we do it all yeah. on Monday, we are, because um, we're going to take the weekend off. What's the weather like at the weekend? We never got the weather forecast. No, anyway, we look at our phone. Yeah, we know it's windy at the moment, but I'm just wondering what the weather forecast is going to be for Saturday and Sunday. But listen, goodbye. Come over here and say goodbye, David. Okay. So goodbye, everybody. Have you lovely? You can have the empty bottle. Thanks for making everybody. Thanks for making See you all. all. Bye bye. Take care. Take care. Woo! 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 Wo